Hey guys, Liam here, your favorite Steam Deck and Linux content creator, and fear not, I'm really not listening to the hateful comments I get and I sometimes make fun of in my videos because I also get some really nice comments from you guys as well, and your comments like this are really wonderful to read when I'm having a bad day. So here we are a tiny bit late on this because I had a little bit of a break but Ubisoft released Trackmania on Steam and thanks to the latest Proton release highlighted in my previous video, the Ubisoft Connect launcher is fixed and so Trackmania does work completely out of the box and quite nicely too even. First up I'll show you my settings which have given it a basically perfect 40 frames a second when locked to 40Hz in the Steam Deck's performance menu. I choose 40 frames a second and 40Hz because it's just the best way to save a little bit of battery time while having the game look really good too and just remain smooth. Now you do need to make sure that you restart the game after changing your settings to ensure they're properly set. And for numerous settings, the game will actually warn you that you do need to do a restart as well. You get about two and a half hours with the settings on a battery, so it's pretty good overall. Although that time very much depends on what map you're actually racing on. Some are quite small, whereas some of them are actually quite big. I think some of the people mentioning settings to get a solid 60 frames a second in other videos perhaps haven't actually played enough as some of the maps that I've been playing through are pretty big and pretty heavy when you go further into the game, especially when you're racing online with others as well. My settings here were great across quite a number of hours played over the last few days just to be sure. However, I will stress here that even though you can get the game to perform well, there is one other problem. I have seen it completely crash and just quit to my Steam library at least three times now. So I'm hopeful perhaps a future Proton update can find and solve what causes it. Another point is that Trackmania is free to play, but as you know, that usually means microtransactions of some kind to unlock the full content. And here is certainly the case as well. You can pay to unlock more of the game, but the campaign and a fair bit of the online play are all free, so it's not too bad overall. And I tell you what, it's been a very long time since I actually played any games in the Trackmania universe, and I forgot just how much fun it actually is. I've made my car do all kinds of ridiculous tricks, and most of them of course completely unintentional, as I'm a horrible driver, but this game just makes everything so much fun. Easy restarts and checkpoints as well are great to help you get the best possible time. It's lots of fun to do by yourself to build up those medals, but of course it also works nicely online as well, which I have also tested a fair bit without any problems. Overall, apart from a few hiccups where it did crash, this is a pretty good release to play on Steam Deck overall, and you can have many hours of fun without even paying a penny. It's one of those games that you can just get absolute pure joy out of because the tracks are ridiculous and I lost count of the amount of times that I went flying off somewhere. If you are also playing Trackmania on Steam Deck do let me know what you think about it in the comments and I'll have another Steam Deck news roundup video out later this week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.